Yeah. Yeah, you're a fellow bitch, aren't you? Hey folks, Brandon here with Tinker Gaming, and we are going to play a little game called Princess Nom Nom. Now, this is a game that I stumbled across on itch.io, or, or however it's supposed to be pronounced. I don't know if it's supposed to be pronounced itch.io or itch.io. Um, I like itch.io. That's, that's what I'm going with. Anyway, it looks like a fun little game. Uh, I don't really know... It's one of those incremental type games, but it's one that's supposed to be... Oh, she just like popped the thing out of her belly button. Uh, it's one that's supposed to be able to be beat like pretty quickly. So unlike most incremental games where you know you're supposed to uh, play them like uh, okay, so I just like keep doing this. Okay, you know most incremental games you play them for like years and you just constantly, constantly like restart and start over and restart and start over. Well, restart and start over the same thing. Anyway, you constantly just go through that cycle of play, get money, buy upgrades, get to some point where you like prestige, like in Call of Duty or whatever you want to call it, and and start over, and then you make money faster, which lets you get to that point faster, which means you can prestige. I mean, it's, it's the whole nine yards, you know, like the adventure capitalist type thing. But, um, so this is one, I think maybe this was made for a game jam. I don't actually know, to be perfectly honest with you. I... I've been looking through a lot of little indie, quick flash type games like this lately, because uh, I love playing these games uh, on on my free time. Just because they're fun, you can pick them up, you can play them really quickly, like and just you know get, get a few minutes of enjoyment out of them. So I really love games like that. But I think, I think, what is this? This is a, a pond. Okay, I'm just gonna get a pond here. Let's let's get another little pop another little thing out of your belly button there, woman. Um, I think this was made for a game jam, but I'm not entirely sure. I, I apologize for that. I should have done more research there but so far it's a, it's a cute little game um i don't know where i guess these little guys can swim he just like walks out over the water and comes back with fish and these guys just keep coming back with with berries but the entire point of the game i believe is to just keep feeding princess nom nom here until she explodes like the fat tub of lard that she is now let's let's pop out some more babies here uh all right we can do three guys there and two guys there uh, I do like the mechanic of, like, you know, it's like, like I can get another person, I can get another little baby thing here, and then, but I can only send a maximum of two and a maximum of three of these guys. So I've got one that's just like milling around. So that's that's kind of fun. It's it's clever. Uh, if this was made for a game jam, and again, I apologize that I don't know that off the top of my head, but if it was made for a game jam, bravo to these guys because just I, I love playing games like that that are made super quick because it absolutely amazes me. The creativeness and the skill of people that make these games like this and can do it in such a short amount of time. What kind of upgrades can I get here? Uh, run, forest run, reduce the time need to get food from the forest. Uh, upgrade some of the food looted from the forest. Ridiculous fishing, radical fishing, I don't... I've got more. Let's reduce the amount of time needed to get food from the forest. That seems like a, a worthwhile upgrade. Did I unlock the farm already? I don't remember... I don't remember clicking it, but apparently I did unlock it because I can go to it now. <laughs> How do you go into a weed farm and come out with a T-bone steak? Do they have T-bone steak farms? Because that'd be pretty cool. I think those are just called like cattle farms, right? That's where most T-bone steaks come from. Great, some of the food loot from the forest. Let's go ahead and do that. Ridiculous fishing. Reduce the time needed to get food from the lake. Sure, we'll get it. No problem. What is this? 600 food for a farm of some kind? What do I get from the farm? Or the... I don't know what that is. What do I get from that? I get... <laughs> a cupcake. Alright, apparently there's cupcake plants over there. What is this? 1200 food for... Whatever the hell this is. Buy it! Buy it! Buy it! Why can't I buy it? There we go. Now I can buy it. Uh, let's see what I get from it, though. A golden apple? Oh my god, am I stealing food from the gods? Let's see. Uh... Oh, this thing over here on the right is a village, by the way, apparently. Food from the temple. Yes, I'm, I'm stealing food from the gods. Because that seems like a great idea. Oh my god, it's just so much food. She eats so much. How can one creature eat this much food? I have to be depleting the entire world's resources just to feed this person. For real, I think she is consuming more than America does. Not Americans, but America. Like, the entire country 
which I guess would be composed of Americans, but whatever. Yeah, she's eating more than a country. Pop a pill. Increase the speed of all minions by 25%. Well, that sounds like it could be fun. Let's see. Let's see how fast these guys go now. Jesus. All right, that seems like it's way faster than 25%. Those guys are like hauling ass now. Jesus, look how fast they go. Now I can get her all the food. Oh my god, look at that. It's like an entire giant donut cake. Look at that. Look at that. Must feed the Nom Queen. Must feed the Nom Queen. Must feed the Nom Queen. Queen of Nom. Increase all food gains by 25%. Does she really need to increase her food gains? She's already freaking enormous. Just feed her more. Feed her more. Give her all the food. All the food in the world goes into Queen Nom's mouth. Oh, look, she got a crown upgrade. <laughs> That's cute. Empress Nom. Increase all food gains by 50%. Yes. She has an even bigger hat now because she needs more food. Feed her more food. I figured it out, guys. I figured out this game. It looks cute. It looks innocent, but it's not. This is some kind of crazy alien organism that has landed on the world and, and is creating these little mindless automaton spawns out of her belly button that are going and stealing food from all of these places to feed her so that she can create more little things to get her more food. It's, it's a parasite. This is a world destroying parasite that I am helping along by, by playing this game here. I am single-handedly promoting the destruction of our entire planet. All right, so I can get the origin of all Nom, and, but I think that like ends the game and, and makes you start over. Because pretty much anytime you play an incremental game, when it says transcend your existence, it means click this button to start over. And I don't want to do that yet because there, there's like one more upgrade down there. And I don't know how much food it's going to cost to get there, but at this point I'm getting a enormous amount of food for Queen Nom. Empress Nom, I should say. She's an Empress now, but I'm getting just a stupid amount of food for her. I still got some upgrades in my temple and some upgrades in the village as far as like how many minions I can send. So I'm going to let these guys stew and I'm going to keep shoveling food into her fat gullet to see if I can figure out what the last, um, what the last upgrade is. All right, I've been playing for about... 45 minutes now, which honestly is a whole lot longer than I thought I was gonna play, but I have managed to get all of the All of the little food places are completely upgraded So I got 10 on everybody here, and I've also got 50 little nom things I don't know why it's still telling me that I can actually spawn more noms because They won't be able to do anything because there's only five areas for me to send food to and I've got 50 noms with 10 10 each, so that, that math adds up. I don't know why I can still spawn more noms, but I still don't know what the last upgrade is. I have no idea, no idea how much, how much food it's going to take to get to that upgrade. So I'm going to keep chugging at it because I'm a completionist and I really want to see that final, final tier, see what it is. So I'm, uh, I'm going to keep chugging away and hopefully I can get to it before I grow old and die. Fifty-eight minutes and twenty-seven seconds. I, I give up, guys. I couldn't do it anymore. I I was up to like well over a hundred thousand, um, well over a hundred thousand little food things, and the last upgrade was still nowhere in sight. So I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know how to get to it. I'm sorry. I I tried, but I just I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, guys. I'm sorry. Anyway. That being said, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Um, if you liked it, make sure to take a shot at the like button down below. And uh, I've spent too much time playing this game. Anyway, as always, until the next video, stay heavy, brothers.